Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week, well this week again, I'm doing some charcoal and soft pastel landscape painting, but it is slightly different this week. So I'm doing a coastal scene. And the thing is, the coastal scene, of course, there's going to be some uh, sea, ocean in there. And painting water of any kind is something I tend to avoid because I'm not sure how to do it. So if you look at my landscape paintings, you'll very, very rarely ever see rivers or lakes or coastal scenes like this. I tend to avoid them. And I think it's not an uncommon thing. I think many of us tend to avoid the things that sort of outside our comfort zone. Even this YouTube channel, for example, it's almost three years old. I started it in July 2020. So give or take a couple of months, it's about three years old. But it should actually be four years old because originally I was going to start it in the summer of 2019. Um, it took about 11 months, almost 12 months before I actually was brave enough to start YouTube. And of course, there were lots of excuses. Um, I didn't have the things you need to make video. I didn't know how to make a video. How do you edit a video? I don't know. Um, how do you upload videos to YouTube? All of these things, I didn't know how to do them. These were good excuses for not getting started. And it's the same when you're trying anything, you know, getting into art again for the first time and so on. It's easy to find excuses, um, reasons why you can postpone getting started. In the end, with YouTube and with getting back into art and hopefully also um, being able to do more coastal scenes and things like this, you just have to start. You have to accept the fact that the, the early versions are probably not going to be very good, but that's okay. Um, you make lots of mistakes, you learn from it, you encounter many problems, you try and learn how to overcome those problems. And I think that's the best way of learning. So as I've said in a recent video, anybody who's getting back into art, getting started in art, don't worry about um, exactly what materials you have to use, what paper, canvas, anything else, um, size of brush, the day of the week, um, what did you have for breakfast? These things don't matter. Just, you just have to start and you have to accept that, you know, the first attempts are probably not going to be fantastic, but it's all part of the learning process. Certainly when I look back at the art um, I was creating when I got started again four years ago, um, it was, let's say I, I wouldn't be happy if I was producing that same art today. I think the art I'm doing now is uh, an improvement but it is, it's all part of that learning process. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're getting into art, if you're getting back into art, maybe even you're thinking of doing a YouTube channel, the best way to start is just to start. Um, just use whatever materials you have available and just start. Um, in the case of art, maybe all you have is a pencil and some paper and that's fine. I've seen people create wonderful art with just a pencil and paper. Even something as simple as one of those plastic ballpoint big pens, disposable ballpoint pens. Um, I've seen people create, again, amazing art with using that and some paper. So yeah, the message is just, just start. Just get started and learn as you go along. Okay, well, if you made it this far in the video, um, short video this week, but still, I think an important idea, important message. So thank you for watching and hopefully see you in next week's video.